Hello everyone, my name is Aditya Chandak. I am a commerce graduate and I hold a work experience in the 3D visualization space in the architectural domain. I scored a 99.96 percentile in my first CMAT attempt and I secured an All India rank of 24. And I am currently pursuing my MBA from one of the most sought after colleges of India, that is Jamnal Bajaj Institute of Management Studies. So looking at the current technological advancement and the automation in the AI sector and especially in the field which I was working in, I was quite sure and I could see in the near future that the advancement would take over the human workforce. If not in all the sectors but especially in the small um, or you could say the basic work where the human workforce won't be required. The robots or the software themselves would be that powerful that they would do the work in such a small amount of time when compared to the human workforce. So this made me realize that just doing graduation and a few online certifications won't help me to sail my boat in this long journey. So this is when I decided to pursue my MBA because at the top of the pyramid but obviously will require someone to who would look after the entire functioning of the ecosystem and ensure a smooth workflow in your company. I started my MBA preparation journey in the year of 2019 with a few months left to catch. Being an average academic performer throughout my life, it was quite challenging for me to compete with some of the smart minds of India and secure a place in the top 3 or 4 percentile of the entire applicants list. But I was driven by motivation, I took that plunge and I decided to get only and only into the top 10 or 15 B schools of India. In my overall 2 years of attempts and preparation, I could nearly touch only 80 percentile in CAT. But I was able to make into the top 3 or 4 percentile of other exams like NMAT, CET, SNAP or CMAT which after analyzing made me understand that I am more suited for speed based exams rather than for technical or logical based exams such as ZAT or CAT. And not undermining the fact that CAT is not the only examination for you to get into a premier B school, I shifted my entire focus towards other examinations because the question asked over there aren't that technical when compared to CAT or ZAT. In my opinion, if one has prepared efficiently for an examination like CAT, then it's only the GK section which acts as a hurdle for you to getting into JVMS. So talking about my preparation for GK, I started in the month of October. So I used to watch several free YouTube channels or history videos or consume the written content. I'm not that type of person who can learn a lot or memorize from the written content. So I used to devote 80% of my time just consuming video content and forming notes, jotting them down in a separate sheet of paper. 